You might see that rematch sooner than you think. What? Really? Yeah. Are you thinking about going to MMA? Yeah, I mean, of course. I was hanging out with them through Roman. There's one thing about Albuquerque wrestling, the grit and the heart. You're not going to make it. With betting, what's kind of your take yeah. on it? My take is that betting in college. Oh, whoa. That's fire. Actually, Let's go. Yeah, he said you turn better, better than him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Nah, he's always hyping me up. Spencer's my boy. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Clash of Combat podcast. Today, we're joined with Real Woods. So, Real, how's it going? Good, how's it going with you guys? <laughs> we were having, we a were having trouble. A, <laughs> man, we were having some trouble setting this up. Uh, best setup, I think, yet. This is sick. First outdoor podcast, but... Let's go. We were just talking about the heat. I'm sitting here like a sauna right now, but you love the heat. No, yeah, I do, I do, I do. From so, Albuquerque, New Mexico. I mean, it's a desert out there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. Albuquerque, is it, uh, is it true about the, the fights in the... Uh, you threat or was yeah, you youth talked wrestling? to Bo? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you faced him? Yeah. Huh? No, <laughs> no, 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 none of that. But Bo actually, well, we were in the same youth club, so I was kind of looked up to him when we were young. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, that's true. It's absolutely true. Yeah. You had you had some fights in there. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. And then not only were they, because he talked about like, I I heard it. He talked about the one on one fights, how they kind of do it, you know, throwing guys. Well. So me and my friends would go around picking fights with a group of friends, another group of friends. So <laughs> we were part of the problem. But <laughs> we would go around and, and literally find anyone and like just like absolutely for no reason just start picking fights Dang. and start uh start you know talking crap to them. You had that Hope gang mentality. Huh? <laughs> the game mentality. The, the game or the game? Gang. 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 You and your gang. buddies? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and my gang, for sure. <laughs> Dang. For sure. And we still have that, but it's just, you know, we're older, more mature. But yeah. This yeah. was in youth? You this is youth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Albuquerque, out, like, there's one thing about Albuquerque wrestling that you will, that is for sure, that you'll get that's good in, uh, like, growing up in Albuquerque wrestling. And it's the grit and the heart because... Everyone has that heart and that grit that they have to, you just have to have it in Albuquerque. You're not going to make it. You're not going to make it socially. You're definitely not going to make it socially. You're not going to make it in the athletic environment. Like, it's brutal. It's not, and it's not only brutal because, like, the parents push you hard or anything like that. It's brutal because we push each other hard, like, like emotionally, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not easy to grow up like that, um, but but it makes something, uh, it makes a very uh, strong-minded person, you know? Yeah. So, so from early on, you almost had that kind of in you, like you had to prove something? Um, Whether to yourself yeah. or your family or? Um, to prove something? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I think that that's just something that comes with like being so competitive. Yeah. Uh, you always feel like you got to prove yourself. And um, I definitely feel like I, growing up, had had a lot to prove because of like I knew exactly especially when I moved to Chicago like being in Albuquerque and stuff um of course I felt like I had a lot to prove because I was competitive but especially when I moved to Chicago uh going to a whole new place and with a wrestling culture that is completely at another level um and knowing that I I had everything to prove Come, mm -hmm. you know I was just a kid from Albuquerque who who uh, was who's, who's influenced to move to sh Chicago and and test my limits, you know. But influenced to go. What influenced by uh, I Izzy Martinez actually. So him and I met when I was about in fourth grade, and uh, he was my club coach and high school coach, and I still consider him my coach. Uh, but he's he's family very much now. But you know, back then when we met, he was just coming to help coach wrestling for the UFC fighters mm -hmm. down there at Jackson's. Yeah. And he invited me to a camp. He had heard a little bit about me and um we got together and after that first camp that we, that I that we met up, every time he came into town, we would work out and we would we would practice and we developed a really good relationship, mm -hmm. a really good bond on the mat and uh and off the mat. Um so he presented uh an idea that they, my parents moved me out to Chicago with him because, you know, Albuquerque's just not the... <laughs> just doesn't have a lot of... Peanut! Peanut. <laughs> Peanut. Hey. 
He's gonna um, fall. He's gonna fall through the. He, yeah, she's right. gonna fall through the railing. Um, <laughs> just Albuquerque doesn't have a lot of opportunity for, sure. for kids. Uh, it's a one of the worst ec- educationally, and then uh, athletically also one of the worst. And actually, a, st- a stat came out recently that New Mexico is uh, the worst state to live in. What? The, what? the worst. Worst. So you came from the worst state. <laughs> <laughs> I messed up. And that's my home. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not cool. That is not cool. But do your parents still live there? Yeah, my, they do. Oh, mm-hmm. really? My whole family. But how yeah. old were you when you went to Chicago? Yeah, 14. Freshman what? year of high school. Oh. Mm-hmm. So who, wait, who, yeah. how are you living? I lived with friends of family, uh, mm. the Calkins, and their family now. I call them, you know, my second mom and dad, sure. my second brothers and sisters. Dang. Mm-hmm. That's well, gotta be so weird. I feel like it's almost like you're going to college in high school because you're like leaving your yeah your yeah. Family. That's exactly what it was like. Um, and that's kind of what we always kind of said. It was a, I'm starting college early. Yeah. And it was it was a journey because you go by yourself and it's like if a, a lot of the time out there, especially moving with with people who you didn't particularly like know your whole life and you didn't have that bond yet. You know, especially when I first went out there, you didn't have that immediate bond to be able to go to them and talk to them. And then when your parents are so far away, you don't want to have to call them and talk to them about stuff. So, like, I just uh, had to get through a lot of things by myself. I had to learn a lot about myself to because I was spending a lot of time by myself. I left all of my friends, you know, so there was a lot to it. <laughs> it's going to start clicking the button. Oh, she, uh, she did. I can hear it. Should, should, should I go put him away? Wait a minute. I go put him away. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, he's a little distracted. He did, he did, <laughs> he did click a thing. <laughs> oh, man. You little nut. <laughs> Alright, so guys, check this out. We got this new podcaster pro. Check this out. Do you put on for him? Not me. <laughs> guys, we have no idea how to use this thing. He has no idea how to use it. Um... Good? Did he mess yeah. <laughs> Dude, he was, okay, this is our first time using this. Oh yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's like supposed to be like what? yeah. Put it's, on, put it on, put it on. Okay, yeah. Try it, on. it like you does gotta all understand this. Understand what it does. Like it does this. I can't even hear anything, by the way. Wait, what? Am I Bro. supposed to hear myself? Wait, Wait you couldn't this entire time? No. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, so they, does that mean they can't hear me? No, Wait, they can hear. Me. This oh, is okay, 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 okay. Wait. I don't really care. I don't want to hear myself. <laughs> it sounds Wait, so how about much now? cooler. Hear yourself now? No. Well, no. No. What the? Switch. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I don't want to. Trust me. It's... Can we just do it without? Yeah, yeah we, we, we can, yeah, we we can just take these off. We don't need them. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, you know what? Screw this. Yeah. This is a mess. <laughs> it's okay, though. Well, okay. I, I, I just take them off? Yeah, yeah take them off. <laughs> I, wonder, I don't know what's wrong with Since you were talking about Izzy Martinez, yeah. you were recently in July at a USC event and with Israel Adesanya as well. How, uh, yeah. What was that experience? Because I was oh, scrolling on Instagram, I was like, "Wait, what? What? Because yeah, yeah. How does that? Yeah, how does that work out? Um, actually, I was hanging out with them through Roman. Okay. I was uh, Roman was there at the UFC event. Figured out that we were there uh, at the same time, so uh, he hit me up, and we got a, we got a training session in, and then we hung out later that night. And he was he was uh, he I think he has like he's coming up coming out with a clothing deal. Mm. With someone who's connected in that in that uh, okay. in that circle uh, with Izzy, and then we we're all just hanging out. We got to hang out with him. Yeah. Wait, you trained with with Adesanya? No, no, no. We, I trained with uh, Roman. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I was saying. We got together and we trained, and then we hung out later that night. So. Damn, dude. And Leon Edwards, I saw. Yeah, and Leon. Yeah, I think I think the clothing guy that he's 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 working with is connected with Leon Edwards. Mm. That's how that is. Dude, that's, that's how that works. Sick. I want to meet them, like, guys like that so bad. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like surreal, I feel like, because you only see them on TV, and then all of a sudden... Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're just normal people. Yeah, bro. right? Literally, it's like, they're, they're just, you know, they're obviously different just like any of us are, but uh, it's a little more successful. Yeah, right. As of now, you know? <laughs> a little more dangerous, I'd say. <laughs> a little for sure I mean, more they, dangerous. They haven't came across <laughs> me yet. Oh, my God. You know? <laughs> so, are you thinking about going to MMA? Yeah, I mean, of course. I I've been thinking about it my whole life because I've been around it my whole life, and it's just in my nature. It's it's something that I I love to do. Like when I wrestle, I fight. I, it's not just a wrestling match. I feel like I'm going out there like 
the the loser is to the death, you know, yeah. kind of thing. So um, it's just in my nature. Yeah, I would absolutely love to go to the MMA. Although there's a lot more things to consider because I'm I'm not just physically uh, talented. I feel like I have something to offer with uh, with my smarts and like intel. Like I feel like because I, I have a lot of there's a lot of avenues that I could take in life. So it's about all about fulfilling the avenues that I care about most right now. So that's what's moving me more toward MMA and more toward things physically because I'm young, mm, you know. Yeah. So I have a goal and I have a dream and it's my end goal and I'm going to do this. And it's med school and I, I want to go to med school. But I've thought, I've thought about this repeatedly over the past like five years over and over and over about how to transition from wrestling or just combat sports and just uh, the lifestyle I live right now into that lifestyle of going to med school and and I had a you know I had a lot of experience kind of with that going mm-hmm. to Stanford because of the of the you know rigorous uh, uh, courses ac- yeah academic a little tougher than courses. Iowa yeah definitely tougher <laughs> than Iowa but so I had a little experience with that and in that I found how it's really hard to do both you know it's possible yeah but it's really difficult to do both, and the thing about it is not that it's impossible, but that you really expend yourself in both directions, and 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 you can't give as much as you want to each, mm. you know, both academics and my athletics. I couldn't give everything that I wanted to each of them because I know how much I have to give, but I really couldn't to each of them. So. Um, what I decided was that I'm going to fulfill everything that I want to do athletically, everything that I want to do with, with my, you know, physically and athletically, Mm -hmm. because I think that I have something to offer in that, in that, in that way to everyone, to fans and, and everyone who, um, who enjoys watching me compete. And then, uh, and then once I'm done with that, whether, uh, I can't do it anymore physically or, Hopefully it's more I can't do any anymore because I've that that that's burnt out, you know. I've I've that passion is left and maybe it's just beyond the you know, prime time of competition. You know, just you know how life goes. You get old. And so when that time comes and I don't know when that could be, it could be next year, it could be, you know, ten years, but when that time comes and that's when I'm gonna s- seek uh med school and, and continue that path. So is after med school, you just want to be a doctor then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be a doctor of psychiatry. Oh, wow. so what, is, what does that mean? I'm real dumb. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means either. <laughs> you, you work with people. We got people. that Parkside education. <laughs> it's all good. You, you work with people who have mental illness. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So like di- diagnosing I, stuff and. Yeah, yeah. Things. Diagnosing, treating. Okay, interesting. Does that ever worry you if you do get in, into MMA with like all the brain injuries and stuff that you yeah, won't be that, able to oh, reach yeah. that? Uh, status of how good you actually could be if you stopped? Okay, that's a different question. That I thought you were going a different way. Um, so do I, ever, do I ever worry that if I start and I stop, mm. I'm not going to be able maybe to reach like where I want to get? Far, yeah, maybe. Um, I don't worry about that because I think that if I felt like I haven't reached where I wanted to reach, I would continue doing it. Mm. But if I couldn't do it, then that's a different question, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> that's just, but that, that's how life goes, you know, sure. there's a lot of things in life that you don't really like, but you have to accept, Interesting. right? Yeah. On the way here, I was, uh, I was hoping you would say yes, that you're going to go into MMA, because I thought of the perfect roadmap for you. Okay. <laughs> he was telling me about this, and he wouldn't tell me awesome. the roadmap. I'm like, right. let me hear the roadmap. <laughs> All right, so this next year is your last year in college, right? Yeah. So this next year, you get your revenge on Alirez, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that Speaking makes of, let me cut you all off. Right. All right. Speaking of, we have coming up maybe potentially, and I'm going to keep this very vague because I don't know what the <laughs> rules are and stuff, and I haven't. Nothing's happened. Nothing's official, but you might see that rematch sooner than you think. What? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just so you know. Through which organization? Well, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. I don't know. Is it our best friends that flow? I don't know. Hmm. Wait, go on though, go on wait, though. Wait, 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 what's, that, what's that? What's that? The thing, the All Star Classic. What is that? It's, 
Isn't that September? I That's still like, a thing? I think he's leaking. Uh, uh, <laughs> are you, you pranking <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. Hey, I continue with the roadmap. Right. Perfect roadmap. Rematch with Lirez, yeah. make it 1-1, one, one, yeah. get your natty title. Uh -huh. Transition. No, he already beat him before. Yeah. He oh, beat him at, when he was at Sanford. That's no, in the tournament. Oh, right? okay. Well, make it 1-1 one, one in, the, in the national finals. Okay. You both got one. All right. You both go into MMA because I saw he's him hitting pads <laughs> on Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you settle it all in MMA. Okay. Okay. I that's like really that. That's really all I have I like planned. That. But. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a pretty, uh, pretty good rivalry story there. I think that'd be I sick. I like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like the Gable cool. Kassar story, kind of. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. Cross, Cross is a big story guy on uh, how things match up. Yeah. I love it. I just so, love, how, I love, that, that, I love that that wrestlers that going into MMA. I'll be that's Gable. Like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's yeah. a role I'll take on. No, that's, yeah. that's a good point. Right, but yeah, I just yeah, I just love the storylines of everything, pretty much. Yeah. Oh yeah. So does wrestling end for you after this year completely competing? No, not necessarily. Mm. What do you plan on doing? No, I want to go to the Olympics, and win it. Yeah, I want to win the Olympics. That's right. That's right. And uh, Olympic year next year. So yeah. Oh, that's right. So what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I tell myself, so what's up? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Man, okay, so I want to slow down. How does your day-to-day -day look like right now? Because uh -huh. school is just starting, right? Yeah. So yeah. right now, what's your day-to-day? -day? Uh, I wake up, I get a workout in. Um, you got tons of stuff in there. Bikes, pull-up bars. Yeah, you've seen it. <laughs> it's dangerous yeah, it's, in there, guys. It's nice to have uh, all your stuff at home. I bet. And you could just, you know, wake up and get to it or whatever. And... Uh, and then at 3 o'clock, I go in, get my wrestling workout in. Or uh, off the mat workout, just depends on the day. It depends on where my body's at, and it depends on what uh, coach thinks, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, everything in between, I mean, it's just up for whatever I feel like. You know, most of the time, it's just spending time with my girl. And uh, we watch shows. We go on walks. Uh, we're about to go on a run when she gets back. You know, it's little things like that. You know, having having a wife is a, is a is a is a fun lifestyle because you have a best friend next to you doing whatever sure. you, whatever you guys want to do. Wait, so you're married? Yeah, I didn't know no, you. Were no, no, oh, it's no, okay. no, not yet. Not yet. Did you pop the question? No, no. Uh, oh no. No, I haven't. Uh, <laughs> I mean, wait, I'm in a rush. That's the thing. Oh yeah, like, that's a good it's point. not that's a. a good point. It's a. It's 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 more of like a. I'm just enjoying the moment, and I can when the time comes, like I will. But the time just hasn't come, really. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just enjoying what we have, and that's it. Dude, I, I want to live in an apartment or something with my girlfriend. Yeah. I just We bought a house, so we're going to live in a house that's now. That's sick. That is so cool. How did that opportunity so come up about? You guys were just talking, like, I just, just makes sense? Well, it's funny because you see all the boxes. We just moved from one apartment to another because our mm -hmm. contract ended. And we thought we got a whole year contract here so because we thought we were going to stay in another apartment for another year sure and um uh, and then like uh, a little late in the summer i was like well i gotta start putting my money to you know some Please. good investments and sure. good, good places and, and what's better than a house buying Wait. some crypto so you're here for <laughs> 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 no i pulled out all crypto. out of crypto uh -uh. wait crypto. so you have a year here and you bought a house mm-hmm so you're uh, gonna live in the house, though, right? If I, if I leave, what's that? You're gonna live in the house, right? Yeah, yeah. But you still have to pay here. Oh, subleasing. Yeah, I got oh, sublease. Yeah. Okay, that uh, makes sense. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get it. Wait, no, you said not, uh, I barely figured oh. that out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, well, I, I, I think you would have someone else living there. <laughs> yeah, well, I was thinking like you know, and uh, the contract. Nope, uh, <laughs> not that easy. Dude, we had a huge mess with our housing contract because so we we locked in that we were gonna live on campus this year. Mm -hmm. or, I mean, we wanted to live off campus, but our coach had us sign up for the on-campus housing contract. Uh, to save seats. To save spots for other people on our team. And we didn't cancel in time. So you had to cancel by, like, July 1st or something. Oh. And we already had a different apartment, and they weren't going to let us out of our on-campus one. Oh. Yeah. So you were fucked on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we. I think we're good. Now. Our coach got us out of it. Oh, okay, good. But good, yeah, good. it was still gonna pay a fee, but it was a mess. Yeah, right. I'd rather pay the two hundred than freaking whatever it is. Yeah, every uh, month. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But for sure, we're 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 talking about money. I want to hear your your uh, your take on this of the recent news of just the whole betting. Yeah. Because I heard that I was in some 
stuff with that, with betting? What's kind of your take yeah. on it? My take is that it's a shame that, you know, uh, I think the consequences to it are definitely more on the unreasonable side. Uh, uh, I think it's a shame because... Uh, Everyone does. I mean, not, but that's not that doesn't make it right. Sure. sure. You know, but uh, but just like uh, I think somebody told me I didn't actually hear this from the coach himself, but somebody told me that the, the football coach was asked about this. And he said that betting in college is along the same lines, along the same like magnitude is uh, drinking mm. in college. Very you know. true. Yeah, that's so true. like. Like, I can I I kind of feel like that's you know the perspective that every every college uh, athlete has on the situation. Mm -hmm. So it is definitely more on the unreasonable side. Although yeah, there are rules. Yeah, there are things that you follow, and and no, they're not emphasized mm -hmm. to the point that everyone thinks that they are. No, sure. they're not. Everyone thinks that you know these these colleges you know I can put it down our throats that we can't bet that we can't do you know now they do yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> yeah now they are but uh um and it's not just here it's everywhere it, i know mm. i have a wide span of network that tells me like hey like even i didn't know that this was this that deep i didn't know that sure. these were these consequences were that crazy you know and like that's it's just everywhere so uh it's unfortunate and it's a it's a damn shame because it's ruining a lot of these guys careers and and dreams do you know how they got caught like how do you I don't know exactly. I don't know how that would work. I feel like there has out. to be an inside person. I don't it, know exactly. Like somebody like snitch on them or what? Yeah. You know right? how it goes nowadays, bro. They can they know everything. Everything's online. Everything is, can be I, figured yeah, out yeah. real real it, easy. I mean, it always has been a rule, right? Within NCAA, you can't bet, right? Like yeah, it's yeah, always yeah. been like a rule. Just everyone know, knows to you know you can't do it, but. Didn't they come out with new betting rules? Yeah, see, year? I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, <really? laughs> I didn't even know that. Well, I mean, obviously, there's like you can't bet on yourself. You can't. Yeah, bet there's on your own there's team. differences. Right. There's that. Like, okay, duh. You know that. Actually, but, I'm for okay, that. The professional betting sports, on your own team. How yeah, does that make sense? Why not? Because yeah, you're not, gonna bet, huh? you're not gonna bet on yourself and then lose on purpose. Huh? You're not gonna bet on yourself and then lose on purpose. Or like you can't bet against yourself. To you're lose. not gonna. There's Here's, people who would. No, like say you bet on yourself to win nationals, yeah. and then you just like sandbag and lose on purpose. No, I know, but some people might bet on themselves losing. Oh, no, that's what you can't. Yeah, do. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. That, I'm that, saying you there's there's a line, but it needs to be drawn. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Here's yeah. here's something we were talking on the way over. We think that if there is betting in college sports in general, college wrestling, college wrestling would grow like crazy. Oh yeah. Could you imagine? Sure. You just sure. see like online, you got the bracket sheet, and you get yeah. to pick out exactly what it is. People who don't even care about wrestling see that bracket sheet. They see that winner. Holy mm -hmm. cow! Mm -hmm. Like, big deal. Yeah. Like that's that's a for big sure. deal. For sure. I don't know. There's a massive community around betting. Hundred percent. I was wondering, is it like illegal to bet on college wrestling? Because you can bet on college football, no. right? No. I'm, you I can't? don't believe so. I don't know. That I thought you could. I just don't know that there's any platform. Let, how about you guys? Let's let's make some. He let's make saying, one. He that's was what I was what's saying. Up? What's up? Let's Dude, make one. It would be genius. Like throw out some money lines on some guys. Better, like, sure. Yeah. Better. Hey, you already have a. What'd you say? Better. Uh, the Jake Paul's app. thing. Oh oh oh. The betting okay, company. Okay. Uh, yeah yeah. You guys already have a massive platform. The Dopa Band is a resistance band used for building muscle and improving athletic performance. The unique thing about it is that it's longer, stronger, and more elastic than any other resistance band. With Dopa, you can work on strength, endurance, technical skills, and muscle growth. Dopa can be used as a portable multi-trainer that you can carry with wherever you go to even the most beautiful places in the world. Join Dopamino and the world's number one resistance bands with the largest online training center. And a word about our service, full one-year warranty with quick delivery to your home. If you don't like it, we'll give you your money back. So there is no more excuses. Join Dopamino today to change your workout routine forever. Our platforms together, we could we could do it. Let's go. <laughs> he he goes I, hard on what's that one game you play? Uh Verdict. You know what that I've never is? heard of it. It's like it's like an XP game. It's, it's not. You bet XP, but you can bet money. Uh -huh. But I only do the, the XP. Uh huh. So but it's, I don't know how to explain it. So it's like, there's a, every MMA card, it's like only the main card, you just choose who's gonna win. What does the XP translate to, anything? 
or just, just pride. you can just rank up. Right. It's yeah. pride. Okay. Yeah. It's like belts, right? There's a belt yeah, there's system. a belt system. Okay. But you okay. can bet money. Uh-huh. Like I know Ben Askren is really big on. He does like weekly one v one face offs with people, and it's like, oh, yeah. okay, like you bet facing. Like, yeah, you hmm. face off. Like, you have, like I pick, a series I pick of these bet. winners. You pick these winners, Got and you. you can pick how they win, what round they win, and whoever gets the most XP wins the money. Mm. So it's that type of thing. And I was oh. saying that you could. Do something like that in wrestling, yeah. where it's like duels. You just list out all ten weights. Oh yeah, it's so fun. And it's like because you, you see guys that the like. Ru- there's got to be a lot of rules like, um, aligned with like starting a, a like betting platform though. Yeah, yeah, right? no, there is. It's got to be so messy. It's got something post college or something. Yeah, but, but you you think about it, you see at state you know state tournaments, college tournaments, everyone's writing their bracket sheets, their predictions. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. yeah there's no reason why wrestling shouldn't have betting. Not for college athletes, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but for everyone else, yeah, for sure. I mean, dude, we could, we got a meeting with the better people next week. We could pitch the idea. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. we do. The idea will be pitched. Yeah, dude, we should pitch it. That would be huge, dude. That'd be crazy. You really should. I, I will. We're gonna. Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna say me, Crosby, and Real Woods. Yeah. Going in. I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> I'm in. Well, I, I kind of want to bring back to last year's national finals. So mm. being a finalist, is there anything... It, new you've implemented this summer training or that you're going to implement for the season that yeah. you did in years past? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, something new that I've implemented, I mean, maybe a couple things. Um, I've always kind of tried to um, uh, get better at my hand fight, and I've, I've definitely also worked on that uh, this past summer a little more, too. And I think that's just been my whole wrestling career. I've always tried to get my hand fight better. But uh, another thing that I think that it's like a little more impactful in my wrestling that I've been working on is being able to, cause I'm a goer and I can go, I can go, go and go and go. But sometimes when I'm going, I lose sight of, um, I lose sight of, uh, of what's the word? Uh, of execution, mm. you know, and getting just getting points on the board because I'm just going. Sure. You know, so I think that in going and really just like uh, I was talking to a friend of mine about this and and he put it really well how in while you're going and you continue to wrestle because, you know, it's a scrap out there. You continue to wrestle. It's about I'm put I'm putting more emphasis on ending that. Spread that 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 go and that and that uh, that scrap, ending it with points. You know what I mean? Mm. And ending it faster instead of continuing the scrap, sure. right? So continue not continuing the scrap so long. I just want to end the scrap and get the points on the board, right? Because I have a lot of technique and I have a lot of executions that that are effective, and I I can score so many different ways, but. Uh, sometimes I do get caught up in the fight, and because mm. I am a fighter, I just like to just go keep scrapping, keep scrapping, and I don't, uh, I don't, I often don't, I often lose sight of just scoring, scoring points, mm. getting points on the board. I don't know if you listened to our um, our Spencer Lee podcast, mm-hmm. but he had huge praise for you <laughs> yeah, <laughs> about dude. how hard you can go and practice, yeah, and yeah. it's just nonstop. He said, didn't he say that you're like one of the strongest people he's wrestled? Okay. <laughs> better turner? Yeah, he said you turn better, better than him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Nah, he's always hyping me up. Spencer's my boy. <laughs> um, yeah, we have really good scraps in the room. He's, uh, it's funny how he says I'm so strong because that, that, uh, that dude is strong. <laughs> dude. Strong. For how much he weighs, he's crazy strong. And it's funny because my whole life, people have always said how I feel like 30 to 40 pounds heavier because of how strong I am, okay. and I never really understood exactly what they meant until I wrestled Spencer really? Lee, and I'm like, holy shit, you feel like you're my weight. <laughs> how? You Spencer Lee feels stronger than the guys that I wrestle in my weight. Holy you know what I mean? crap. Like, it's, it's unbelievable to think about and unbelievable to feel because it's a smaller body. <laughs> that, that, that's one thing I was always interested in, especially in high school. Pe- you can see people just pushing weight, but yeah. you wrestle them, and they feel like they have zero strength. Yeah. So how... Does just that correlate? Like yeah. when when does like and sometimes I know I think Spencer can put up weight, but he really doesn't lift. Yeah. And I, I don't know how much you lift, but it's like hardly. How how do yeah. you have that strength then? Where does that come from? Yeah. And is it just the way you wrestle? It's literally just becoming a better wrestler. Um, 
I think it does have a lot to do with the way you wrestle and the way that you manipulate like angles and the way that you manipulate hand fight. Mm. Like it definitely feels you just you just feel stronger in certain uh, you know advantages angles and positions. Sure. So I think that yeah, the way you wrestle has a lot to do with it. Um, but also like any any uh, off the mat work and any off the mat strength um, strengthening that you're doing. I think that. A lot of people just do strengthening just to do strengthening. They don't mm. they don't do strengthening for wrestling. Like they don't think about you're actively like they don't do strengthening for wrestling motions, you know. Sure. Uh, wrestling positions, you know. And and if you think about a shot, like how are you gonna strengthen this? Everything that in, that's involved in this, how are you gonna strengthen that? And like to that same like how it's all working together right because your body has to work together mm. if your body's just working your if you're just working your arms and your chest to take a shot your legs are also involved in that in that explosion you know sure. so but it's also and you can't just work your legs too and then work your chest and then work your arms i think you have to work all of it together so uh i think that there's no better strengthening than wrestling itself right mm. and uh there's something that we talked about a few months ago about how when we were little, we always wrestled guys who were heavier and all of our partners were just guys who were heavier. And when I was a kid and all growing up, even through high school, mm -hmm. um, my best partners were 20 pounds heavier than me and significantly heavier. So I think that having to deal with that much body weight made me and made my muscles adapt and like have to deal with that much body weight and uh, you know, made them strong enough because you know, I continued to train and I made myself deal sure. with it. So uh, I think that could do with it, have, have to do with it, but there's so many factors. It's just like no one answer. Yeah. But I do, I do, there's, I'm strongly, I'm, uh, uh, I strongly believe that just lifting and like just being in the weight room all the time, mm -hmm. yeah, it'll make you stronger. Yeah, sure. But translating to that, re to wrestling, is like I think like ten percent of it maybe sure. you know translate directly to wrestling because all your body's working together. Who who are some of the bigger guys? Like, are you still rolling with bigger guys now at Iowa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, other than like the the guys who are just at a very high level that are smaller than me, like Desanto and Spencer, um, I roll with. I roll like I just rolled with Mikey Caliendo, and he's. You know he's up there. He's he's a 165 pounder. So you know you could imagine how much he's weighing right now. And and we sh we scrap. You know what I mean? Like, and and I f I feel like you know I strength wise I hold my own. You know, mm. and that's just because I have to force myself. I have to hold my own. You know, uh, but yeah, I still I still roll with bigger guys. And I think that rolling with bigger guys for me in my wrestling. Uh, helps me more than anything. If I'm wrestling guys that are my weight, uh, I, that's probably me working with guys who are faster and me working on my uh, my my uh, just getting better at wrestling guys who are faster. I think that helps with going with the smaller guys and the guys that are my weight. But especially with strength and positioning, especially positioning, because when I'm wrestling guys my weight, I'm able to move guys a lot easier than I, when I'm going with the guys who are heavier. So, yeah, I go with heavier guys all the time. It well, makes me want to wrestle bigger guys. Yeah. We, we, were, we were practice partners should. all throughout high school. Yeah, we were. I mean, we were okay. a little bit closer in weight, I think. I was still like 10 to 15 yeah, pounds bigger the whole bigger, time. But that did help me. I'm telling you. I hope it helps you. Thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the dads and the kids out there, go with the bigger guys. Go with the bigger, better guys. What's, not what the bigger, gets... Uh, Oh, sorry. No, I was saying not the <laughs> not the bigger fishes, not the big yeah, guys yeah. who are fish. Well, what gets like out. scrappier for you in the room when it's a bigger guy or it's like when it's DeSanto? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dude, that's he... a funny question. I mean, like, okay, what bigger guy? And then okay, um, <laughs> I don't know. Cal Caliendo is. I mean, mm -hmm. obviously, he's. I think scrappier. <laughs> Huh. Not not harder, like just straight up no, scrappier. No, straight up scrappier. Because I mean, if you're has, a beer guy, you might get yeah, pissed Yeah, DeSanto has a very high level of scrappiness <laughs> <laughs> in his wrestling. So we've that heard. That dude wrestles with some scrappiness for sure. So I'd have to say DeSanto 
um, more than anybody else in the room. <laughs> I got to hear your... Although, although Spencer is fucking scrappy. Really? That guy is scrappy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who do He's... you think takes it more personally, DeSanto or Spencer? DeSanto used to. Mm. Used to? DeSanto used to take it more personally. Yeah. Yeah. He's... He... he I don't know. He's just, uh, he's continuing to mature a lot in his wrestling actively. Like, it, it's crazy. Since I've been here, since I got here, when I got here at first, or maybe it's, <laughs> I don't know, like him, him, uh, or me earning my respect with him. Sure. But I also think that it has a lot to do with, like, him just maturing as a wrestler on the wrestling mat that he doesn't really take it as personally anymore. You know, sure. you will, you know. Every now and again, see him take a little, per, a little personally, but that's just part of the wrestling, mm-hmm. part of the you know, part of wrestling and competitiveness. Yeah, for our team, it's uh, like when people get in like fights in the room, it's like left in the room, you know. Yeah. Is that like, no, exactly yeah, how it is yeah, for you no, guys? No, that's exactly how it is. Uh, for sure, for sure, that's just the rules of the of of, rules of the wrestling. Game. That's the rules <laughs> of the game. Yeah. You know. Yeah. It, it all it's always left in the room. And if anybody doesn't leave it in the room, they're an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's not cool. <laughs> that's just not cool. Like, it, we scrap it out. We can get pissed at each other. We can even throw hands in the fucking wrestling yeah. room. But when we go out, when we walk out of the wrestling room, then that's it, you know? We're brothers again because you don't do that with anybody else, you know? Yeah. Just like that cliche, like, you know, you, you, you bleed and you sweat with them, you know? Mm. Yeah. What was the biggest difference from Stanford wrestling to Iowa wrestling you see in the practice room? In the practice room, um, everyone wants to win. Uh, at Stanford, you know, there's a lot of guys who do want to win and a lot of guys who are trying to make their own way. Mm-hmm. But um, just that the, the level of competition in the room is, is obviously just at a higher level. Mm-hmm. And then uh, and I, it, I just feel like the heart at Iowa in your wrestling is way higher everyone is is uh everyone doesn't want to give an inch you know everyone who you wrestle against they don't want to give an inch you know uh and maybe it's just because that's what higher level wrestling is you know and that's that is it is what it is but uh so it's it's kind of the differences are pretty obvious as of now but you know stanford wrestling has been making a lot of changes and when i left they were going in, in the right direction mm-hmm. uh I, I heard some unfortunate news lately but i don't want to say anything if if you guys don't know anything uh, maybe everyone else doesn't know anything either no. okay what, well, the, pro- the program's gone again no 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 <laughs> well uh yeah just the difference is it's just a higher level wrestling community in mm-hmm. the room and uh and maybe like the the energy too it's yeah. higher level energy what was like the biggest I mean, I know you, you kind of just touched on it, but I mean, what was like the biggest contributing factor to like leaving Stanford? To leaving Stanford is that the biggest contributing factor was that I graduated. Okay. So I had the ability to have my degree because that's what I get. I went there for. And then I thought, what's next? I thought I want to win a national title, you know, and I got to find the place that's best for me to be able to do that. And Iowa wrestling is best for me to be able to do that. Yeah, that makes sense. I have to touch on this because mm-hmm. I was super interested when mm-hmm. this came out. When you when you did go to Iowa, yeah, and I think this was the first moment when uh, the whole wrestling and NIL talks. Yeah, right. Yeah, there was a, a rumor you got paid <laughs> some money to come to Iowa. Is that true or false? <laughs> no, it's <that's> not true. <laughs> it's just not. Is, true. is it just a big hoax? Yeah, you can't just get paid money to co- go somewhere like that's true. Not but the- there there are some things. <laughs> there are some ways around it. Yeah, no. The, no. <laughs> the only no. I mean, the only thing that really appealed me in terms of the NIL was all the rest of the guys telling me how many opportunities they were. Like it's mm. like you know when guys are being genuine about things. Sure. Like yeah, you could everybody could say like hey, there's a lot of opportunities here. Hey, like I saw there was an, on different occasions with different people tell me how many good opportunities there were here, mm-hmm. and and sometimes the specifics of those opportunities and and those. 
the guys on the team were just telling me and I could hear it and I saw that it was genuine and I knew that, okay, that's something to consider too. Sure. You know, so that definitely played a factor in like knowing that Iowa wrestling is as big as it is. Okay. And knowing that like there are a lot, there are so many NIL opportunities out here. So many people that want to help the program and help the guys in the program. So uh, I'm not saying it wasn't a contributing factor. It was 100% a contributing factor. Sure. But uh, it wasn't anything like I was promised, you know, this and that. Sure. If you came, like, no. Okay. Do you believe in the numbers that are getting thrown around? Do I believe in the numbers? Like, I mean, what, that true X? Was... Like about me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. Did I believe in the numbers that are getting thrown around about like, me? Like, I mean, there's like multi $100,000 deals getting thrown around and it's mm -hmm. like nobody knows if it's like legit or not yeah well i'll tell you what i mean the the nil opportunities here they there's people out there who are willing to give that kind of money for different things to do for them wow you know, and different sponsorships yeah there are so many people in the iowa community that are just willing to just help you know wow. so what does that pertain to was it what was like, that, what pertain to like what like are you involved with any yeah so what like a lot, can I ask the deliverables on what you're required? Yeah, for? yeah. So like, there's guys who want Iowa. Who these guys in Iowa who want to help the program? They really care about like who we are as people and sure. our not only our well being but like who we are as men. Mm -hmm. You know. So like, most of the deliverables for nil deals are uh, are along the lines of like you have to do some type of community service. Sure. And so. Uh, like one for me. Ooh, I've got to go. Can we yeah. pause? I just. Oh, that camera's. I think off. it might have over. Man, our setup is a mess today, huh? I know. <laughs> Wait, are we good? I, I, I uh, yeah, we're, we're we'll continue. Okay, he, if I it dies, I don't even remember where you were, but some uh, about deliverables. Oh yeah, the deliverables. Um, uh, like I was saying, like the guys at Iowa, uh, who want to help the guys on the team, mm -hmm. and the people in the community who want to help the guys on the team. They, at least the guys that I work with, they really care about like who you are and what impact that you're having on the community. Because you know, if they're giving to us, they want us to give back. So like we go help with different type of community service with like the community. And uh, uh, like for something, for example, something I have to do is like go help the, with the homeless shelter, mm. you know, and go help give out food and go spend some time with them. And uh, I particularly. I enjoy that. Like, that's something that I want to do. And it may not be something that other guys want to do, but it, you know what? It makes something of you, mm -hmm. you know, and you really uh, grow from that experience uh, and it makes you a better person. And I think that that's, that's the best thing about uh, the guys, at least who I work with, mm -hmm. um, that want to help us. Yeah, I guess. Sounds like a good deal. <laughs> yeah, that reminds deal. me of like the, because we were talking about uh, David, or yeah, Carr and you said oh, yeah, he, yeah. he posts on like a random picture at like a gas station. Yeah, and it's like or a supermarket. Yeah, it's uh, like a lot. He, some guys do that. Yeah. yeah, or it's like is he like is this an nil deal or is he just posting in a random store? Oh, I'm sure it's an nil. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yeah, but, yeah, gas stations and grocery stores are like the best because yeah. you get you get free food. You get free Maybe. food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, who doesn't you just like, have, like a doesn't real like one's card? You just swipe at the <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, literally free groceries is epic. I haven't even I I need to. Um, actually go seek out some opportunities like that. Hi-V, if you're store. watching. hi -Vee, come on. <laughs> come on. You know I want you. <laughs> are you big, like, uh, I was, are you a big, uh, steak connoisseur? I was going to say, like, a big meat maker, but steak that didn't sound right. <laughs> like, do I like steak? Yeah, like, do you like cooking I love, steak? And... I love steak. Uh, I, I do like cooking steak, uh, in the cast iron skillet. Oh, oh yeah. I've, I didn't steak. even know how to do that good because I can only do grill. The I've only tried thing is, on a pan. How do you do it? Yeah, the only thing is, uh, it smokes up your whole house. Oh, so you oh, might, really? Yeah, your smoke alarm might go off, but you'll have a good ass day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? you just gotta sear it. Get the get the cast iron skillet really cast hot. Iron skillet. Yeah. Damn. What's what's uh? And season it real well. Yeah. Yes. Roll the edges every, as you do everything else. Roll. But do I'm not roll, really. Do you the, roll the edges? Yeah, Good. and then I'm not. You I'm not really the did. cook though, and like, my girl is a, is a really girl, good okay. cook. So, but I do the steak. Okay, so. damn. Funny you what, what, uh, what what type of gas station snacks are you looking at? Gas station snacks yeah. do I like? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't really get that many gas station snacks, but 
you saw me drinking an Alani earlier. Yeah, yeah like I've been Alani. drinking those. Those are yeah. good. Yeah. I don't think we get deals with caffeine. No. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. I didn't think that's, about that's that. That's the weirdest yeah. rule, I think, ever. Yeah, for sure. We were at a gas station, actually. And uh -huh. uh, I was thinking about more <laughs> more bits to do, more props. It's not going to be good because it's this a little hot so out here. Stupid. Oh, yeah. No, what's but up? We were, we, were, so we were checking out, like, our uh, Crosby wanted coffee. Do you coffee. have it? Yeah, I got, uh, I got something. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Crosby, go. Crosby wanted a water. I wanted a coffee. And I'm looking. I'm like, whoa, there's – look at this. Limited edition flavor. I'm like – what if, like, what if Rio loves this? <laughs> I just, I, I just had, to th I had the, heat, the heat of the moment, and I got it. Let's go. It, it, I don't think we should eat it because it's all melted now. <laughs> but I'll it's it. a limited edition churro Kit Kat. Oh, whoa. That was, that, you, you like that? No, yeah, I love churros. Oh, Shut wait, up. what, really? Yeah, yeah. All right, it's a little smushed. And I love Kit Kat. Would you eat it? Yeah. There's I mean, at least if, one good it, one in there. It's just completely melted? Yes. Like, it's... No, there's one good one. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so. Get some napkins, huh? <laughs> dude, that's gonna be good. <laughs> you don't like churros? Crosby? No, this is just Crosby so Crosby did random. not dude, think you were gonna eat it. I didn't he think did you were. Why? I said, this is crazy. I've never seen something like that. No, yeah. And no. it looks amazing. <laughs> Look at this. Look Maybe. At... <laughs> this is pretty good. This is good looking. Dude. I hope it's good. In the it news, tastes like Kit a Kat signs like real woods. Huh? Yeah, In the imagine. news, Kit Kat signs real woods. <laughs> All right. Dude. Come on, Kit Kat. I'll pretend I like it if you do. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't, please tell me if you don't like it. No, I Honest will, I opinion. Will. I will. But you got to look at this thing. It's yeah, like, dude, that thing. It should oh. wafer with some. Oh, that's oh, different. Yeah. We'll try it. No, I'm. No, it's not. Well, it's different because it's melted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> dude. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about melted. Are you going to taste not one? Tasting melted? It. Really? One out of ten. That's fire. Actually, Let's go. Yeah. The only churros that. I've ever had is like a school lunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pretty good. Um, so, now, now we got you eating some sugar. How much you weighing right now? <laughs> <laughs> one fifty, one fifty two. Really? What? That's light. Yeah. My whole life, I really haven't like cut weight. So really? I suck at it, one, and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, that makes fun. sense. And it's like the worst part of the sport, right? Yeah, of course. <laughs> like nobody likes that. <laughs> why, are you, why are you doing it? What, what do you think? Like, about I don't think it helps you win that much more, does it? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I mean, okay. I think, okay, if there's like a, if maybe you're, if you're pudgy, like oh, yes, me when yes, I was a little yes. something. Yeah. If, you're, if you consistently eat unhealthy, like, dude, first of all, you're not a real athlete. And second of all, yeah, duh, it's going to suck. You know, cutting weight. So, like, if you uh, if you manage it, you you know, you could a you could absolutely have have your sweets every now and again. Yeah. For sure, I do. Especially when like this past summer, like, yeah, you gotta enjoy yourself. Sure, you have to. But like, when it comes down to it, like, when season's in season, and you have a you have a journey, you have a path, you have a dream, you have a goal to accomplish. Like, you you gotta just cut it back, and then you'll be fine. Mm. You know, um, but. There's another thing with that too. If you are if you are eating healthy, and you are lean, and you're still cutting ten pounds, like dude, that's just I feel like it's just not gonna help you, especially in a in a sport that you gotta compete yeah. one to two hours right after yeah. you make weight. You're not gonna be able to replenish. If we're right. talking MMA, for sure, for sure. Let uh, you know you can cut that ten pounds of water and then replenish it throughout the night and yeah. the next day and be able to be fine but well not and, and there's that argument of what if we just cut out the weigh-in part by you well you'd still weigh in but like before the mat you'd walk on and you have to be under yeah that that whole kind, kind of I thing like which, which is it's interesting um maybe if the tournament would try it just to see how it rolls i like but, that the only thing is i think that there would be a lot of people who would test those boundaries mm. and test those limits with their body and put themselves in harm's way. Greater sure. risk. That's true. That's I really, point. I really believe that that there would be people who just put themselves in harm's way, uh, doing that because you know if you're absolutely depleted and you have no time to replenish, nothing to put yeah. back in your body, and if you're doing it obviously the wrong way, then you're you're putting yourself in a yeah. bad spot. No, that, so. that's interesting. I never thought about it from that opposite you standpoint. Want, you want you want some? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <Do> it. <laughs> Pretty good. Well, what, what way are you gonna go in MMA? 35? I would go 135. Yeah. 35. Yeah. What do you think about uh, the Sugar Show? <laughs> I think he's a clown. Really? 
Come on. Okay, Come on. okay. You know what? You know what? You I like him because he gets it done. Like he gets yeah. the job done. The dude is the dude is a master. No. Dude is a master like advertiser for sure. Like he's he's doing it right. You know, in terms of like getting the fan. Like he's the he's the uh epitome of like uh, the people's champ, you know. Yeah. But he's really the champ. Yeah. At this, so like it's even better. Like no, I I really have a lot of respect for the guy, you know. Um, but <laughs> I'm so competitive to the point where I know that that's my way. If I ever go <laughs> MMA, to like if I won't like him until I've either con- I've either you know, saw out my MMA career yeah. or decided that I'm not going to do MMA. I will not like him. Right. I'm just that competitive. I literally, like, yeah, I can I can respect what he does. Yeah, but I'm really, like, I'm like that messed up in the head. Like, you, you, like, <laughs> you're a big fan of Clown Jermaine Sterling? Clown Jermaine Sterling. <laughs> yeah, no, like, same, same thing. But, like, okay, so I think that Al Jermaine is the better fighter for sure. I, yeah, he's definitely, like, more complete. Yeah. I think that uh, if they fought again, he would win. Yeah. Because. Sadly. Yeah. Who do you, yeah. Because um, you, you're a bit. Yeah, I like. Who, I like. I like Omega. Yeah. Who, who do you, who do you uh, think? It's would easy win? to like him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's super easy. easy to who like do you him. think would win in a fight? Um, Aljo's camera guy or Crosby? <laughs> Crosby. For sure. There's some beef. Let's go. Crosby. What you mean? Well, Crosby. Do it. <laughs> I'll, let me explain, Hey, hey, dude. I know. I'll, actually, I met Aljo's camera guy. Shut That's up, hilarious. I swear up. to God. I swear to God. I swear. That kind of bigger guy? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I was actually, yeah, I was speaking to him at the fight with uh, with Yair. When I went to Yair's oh, fight, really? I was speaking to him there. Yeah, I was telling him. He gave me his contact and stuff. I was telling him maybe we'll work together or something for some time. Dude, some time. come on. Should we, I work with you or dude, what? Work with me. Bro. Come, on. <laughs> come on. Yeah, we can't work with so, you. So work. what's up? <laughs> Yeah, 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 tell yeah. The beef. yeah, this okay. This is imaginary beef with crowds. Dude, he, he, he might not even know. He they might not know, but okay. So basically, he started this t- like TikTok like way back. He might know now. If, yeah, I'm he gonna might. repost if it he, on, my, on my story. Yes. And then if he watches please, the podcast, please, <laughs> I'll just send him the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just the <a> segment, yeah. <laughs> dude. So he. Post on TikTok like MMA takes, mm-hmm. and that popped up in my for you page all the time because I like like all those type of mm-hmm. things, and some of them I disagreed with. So I was like, like, what is this dude saying? And then all of a sudden, you commented he, this. No, I didn't comment. Okay. No, no, but all of a sudden, randomly, Aljo's like in his TikToks and they're like together. And I'm like, how is this dude hanging out with Aljo? Because he had like a thousand followers on TikTok, sure. and it just kept going. And he he became Aljo's cameraman. And he's like at all these fights. And so when we started this podcast, I was, like, thinking, he doesn't have that many followers, so if we, like, link up with him, we could hang out, you know. At that time, I, like, respected him, because it's, like, mm. obviously the dude was grinding. Yeah. And But then, on you Instagram, him. I DM'd him, yeah. like, you want to, like, yeah. get together sometime and do something, and he just never responded. And I was, like, it's, Uh-oh. like, dude, there's no way you're not seeing my DM, because oh, yeah. you don't have that many followers. It's, like, come on. <laughs> Okay, this, I'm not, this, okay, this was a beef fueled by jealousy. <laughs> yes, pretty much. It was a beef fueled by jealousy, and Crosby wants it. Because I wanted to, I want to be Eldermaine's cameraman. Hell yeah! But I mean, not really anymore. He wants to be at the time. Hey, maybe wanna, you could be, be my, my cameraman. cameraman. No, I don't want to. Maybe you I don't want to be, be a cameraman. cameraman. No, I'm out of the cameraman game. Mm, I'm gonna hit you up. All right, to be my cameraman. I can be your cameraman. Are you a good cam? All right, bet. He says I'm a trash cameraman. I don't Is say you're right? trash, but you're better cameraman. Yes, well, but it's like I'm I'm more on, in front of the camera, but it's like I love being behind it. But it's hard when you're a cameraman you and love you're not being editing. behind the camera. Or yeah, it's hard being a cameraman and not editing, and you don't know what the edit like in mind. You yeah. don't have the edit in mind because he's like doing all these things with the camera. It's like because he knows what he's gonna do when he edits. Mm. But like if I'm doing cameraman, I don't know how he's gonna do it, so yeah. I'm just holding it it's, on him. It's so weird. That's like the hardest thing with like YouTube is like having someone else, especially like early on, like affording someone else, like if you have to pay him and stuff. So. Yeah, it's interesting. Okay, but I I don't have beef with them. I need no, to fake I cut that out, bro. No, that's in. That's leaving. <laughs> that's in. in. Yeah. All right, that's well, in. I'm sending him the segment. <laughs> Dude. I want to hear about your streaming. You've been yeah, you've been yeah. going hard, like almost every day. So tell me about that. Almost every day. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, it has been like been every day. Your story. Hey, yeah. so uh, hey, so this is the deal. I do it so casually, like I'm not like. I got some like stream overlays, which is like the most I've done for it. It's just super sick because I think they're. You the got an Elgato Stream Deck. Huh? I saw that you have a Stream yeah, Deck. Yeah, 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 and a Stream Deck, and uh, 
and I hardly use that thing. I kind of want to send that? it back. Tell them. Huh? What is, what is the Stream Deck? Oh, a Stream Deck is like you use it to help you use your stream. It's or, like, or, or, uh, is uh, it like one of these, but like you can switch cameras on it and stuff? It's like those, but you can, uh, you can like put certain functions to each button. Oh. Mm -hmm. So like you can literally kind of do whatever you want with them with all the buttons and there's like eight buttons on mine and so you could switch a screen you can mute a sound certain audio uh you can do all kinds of different make put put on different sounds if you have a soundboard yeah different Damn, things like that that's it's hard legit. to use it to be yeah. honest so you got you got a high quality stream what, what games are you playing <laughs> i guess what games are you playing i play call of duty mostly i play warzone mostly just because that's my favorite game so this is what i was saying this is how i got to streaming because uh, Spencer was streaming and and I was like, hey, like he was, he was like trying to he was telling me I should stream too. And then like I also played with this one streamer and she was telling me that I should stream. And then I played with one of my I played with one of my buddies, uh, Sergi, and he's super good and he used to stream. Mm -hmm. Well, he was also telling me to stream. So I had all these people <laughs> in the gaming community that I was just like gaming with that would tell me that I should stream. So I was like, ah, screw it, <laughs> for fun, might as well. And the best thing about it is that like. I'm playing the games anyway, so, like, there's no reason why I shouldn't let, like, my fans and the few fans that, like, decide to come watch, like, sure. to come watch and just that's to come chat it up, like, just ask me whatever you want. Like, that's that's the coolest thing about it. It, it, it isn't the gaming and it isn't the, the uh, whatever's to the stream mm -hmm. at all as much as it is, like, get letting the people, anybody literally come in and ask me questions and just enjoy the entertainment whatever entertainment I have to offer. Uh, there's, like, little predictions. There's, like, stuff. There's yeah. cool stuff with the streaming uh, uh, tools. and It's just cool. It's just cool. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, and and I'm gaming anyway, so might as well. That's you know. a good point. I was hoping you're say, you were going to say you're a big Fortnite gamer. Well, I do play For I'm you? actually going to play Fortnite tomorrow because a lot of the viewers like, like when I play Fortnite. Yeah. I um I hopped on a stream with Spencer. We won a game. I was hyped. <laughs> you want to hop on a stream? <laughs> yeah. I had yeah, a car on, on the stream. stream for Fortnite last time. Oh, really? Yeah, we had a really good stream. Dang. I, <laughs> it was I, funny because <laughs> uh, we, uh, <laughs> we eventually got a bunch of people together, like f from the viewers. And, oh, like, in creative or something? Yeah, and he had like viewers. For, he was doing a uh, uh, TikTok live, and we got all these viewers together in a lobby. And, and we were just like the first ones to die all every time, every <laughs> round. They're targeting you. Yeah, I mean they're probably targeting targeting us. But also, like I'm bad at Fortnite. <laughs> I'm not. I used to be really good, but I'm not good anymore because I don't play the game. Sure. And then Car's not that good. <laughs> he claims to be pretty good. He's not that good. <laughs> and then he's calling him out. <laughs> I'm calling you out, bro. Oh no, he would agree. He would agree. But. So I started doing predictions because you could do predictions with like channel points. You get channel mm. points based on like how long you watch. Okay. It's like this currency that you could redeem for different things. And I have a bunch of things to redeem: free subscriptions, like, uh, 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 like just do like random things, like yeah. uh, play the game while I'm standing up, play the game while I'm doing squats at the same time, oh. <laughs> like different different things like that. That's uh, cool. And then I'm doing a giveaway for like uh my uh Dodo custom like. Uh, Tawas that are made that were made that. like the Herky Tawas and then like That's the sick. Stanford Tree Tawas and then uh, like Real Deal my Real Deal apparel stuff but anyway I'm doing a giveaway so they could also redeem the channel points for the giveaway well what I was saying about the Fortnite is we kept dying every round the first people to die yeah. so we would do predictions who's going to be the first one to <laughs> die? Oh, <no. laughs> and then Jesse Ibarra was playing with us too so he was in that list. <laughs> Dang. That's, that, you know, that's super cool because when I was growing up, I always thought it'd be so cool to get in contact, you know, with college guys and, and like, especially at this high <laughs> level and now like we're doing that, but being able to just hop in like their Twitch and just say like a question and they can answer it. They can yeah. notice you. The, the feeling that the kids have is insane. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. And so like you like doing that, like. People are like loving you for that. No matter yeah. if you, even if you, if you have ten people, like mm -hmm. you, that's like ten people just sitting and yeah. just like, like, whoa, like this guy is like a killer, and he's like, yeah, that's you know, what he's, I'm he's saying. I don't, me. That's I don't great. care if it's two people watching sure. my stream as long as they're, you know, as long as they're there and enjoying it. Like I don't really care as, as long as it's one. If I have zero viewers, yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, get this, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. two, 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 two people. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Wait, could you down to hang out with us? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure, exactly. <laughs> 
So no, that's the best part about it. Like you said, it's just like they come in and ask you questions and stuff, and get to know you a little bit more. Maybe get to know, get to ask questions about themselves, like about their wrestling and any advice and stuff. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm all, especially I'm all for the kids. If you know me, you know that I love kids. You know that like I'm all like I do in summer. I do camp after camp after camp after sure. camp because I want. I know there's something that you have to realize when you're growing up and you're maturing is that like it. Life is all about the next generation. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And you always have to make an effort to give back to the next generation because when I was growing up, the generation ahead of me was giving back to me. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I wouldn't be in the place that I was if it wasn't for, you know, not only my family, but like all other people outside of my family who were just giving back to me and like the people that I looked up to, like, you know, uh, Holly Holm, like someone, she was just giving back to me and she was just cool with me. Like, invited me to work out, you know, different things like that. Yair Rodriguez, like, he came and, and, and was training with Izzy. He was just cool with me, like, pushed me in workouts. Like, those guys just giving back gave me a lot of advice. Like, that made such a huge impact in my life and in my uh, journey that I know firsthand how much of an impact that I can have on the younger generation. And and guess what? Your time expires at some mm. point. My time in however many years is going to expire in this sport and and with this community in, in any in combat sports or anything. And the thing that I want to leave behind is my knowledge and my impact on who's next, you know? Yeah. Because that's what it's about. We want to grow this sport. We want to grow wrestling. Sure. Wrestling needs needs to be grown. And, and there's no better way to do that than spreading knowledge and getting all these kids better so then they all make each other better. Mm-hmm. And then spreading advice for them to be able to lead good lives you know and lead impactful lives and like be someone who hopefully when they're at my stage in life realize that how impactful they will be and mm. feed on to the next generation. I, I think at the end of the day it's just standards like each generation they have to raise that standard yeah. so like you're reaching as high as you can to bring them up it's mm-hmm. like you can walk so they can run and i think that's the, the biggest thing 100 so. percent. that's awesome that's right that's right When's there gonna be some some baby reels running around? Some baby reels? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A while, a while. Yeah, there's yeah, not anytime soon, but it will be some. Yeah, it will be some. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Dang. Well, I got a challenge. All right. Huh? Challenge. Oh. Have you ever heard of the Dopaminio bands? We yeah. talk about these yeah, before a little bit. You've never seen them in person. I've never seen them. No. <laughs> maybe I should get me some. I don't know. We yeah, have a maybe, challenge. Maybe. We, we heard you're the strongest wrestler. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, this is the Break the Bolt Challenge. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. New challenge. New challenge? We have a new challenge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we do have a new we, challenge. It's not Break the we Bolt. We have a new challenge. It's not you're Break the Bolt. You're the first the... one to do this. Yeah. This All is like right. a first of many. So, this is basically we're going to have a new leaderboard. Oh. And you get to set the record. And you're going to set the first record. <laughs> so, in 30, you get 30 seconds, okay? Okay. You're going to take that band. And it's going to be just like a full extension like that. A full like extension that. to your I chest. Up. The, to your the chest. Uh, yeah, you can yeah, move. yeah, you can move that. 30 seconds. Here, I got, I got the timer out. The full extension this way? Yeah, you have to touch the band yeah. to your chest. Here, one, How many one sec. 30 seconds? Or 15 seconds. 15? Yeah. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Two, three, four. <laughs> 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 oh, I don't even know what he's at, dude. <laughs> Did he get 50? Uh, 50. Stop! You got 50. You got 50? I think so. Holy no shit. Way. I think so. No way. I think dude, so. Hey, I lost, on camera. We have I lost track at yeah, 30, dude. Yeah, we're going to have to redo. I think I got 50. Dude, I think you got 50 because I lost track at... 15? I lost track at 30. Dude. <laughs> All well, right, you are officially. Wait, we have we have video. Yeah, yeah we, we have, have video. video. We'll we'll count Perfect. it. We'll count it back. Perfect. I might have skipped the forties, but <laughs> no, I we'll you def- I think you had fifty because I lost track at like twenty eight, twenty nine. Yeah, this is gonna be intense though. If we yeah, have more dude, people, to I try. don't know I, if anybody's I gonna sped it up that. right away. I, was I guess. Yeah, right at the end, you 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 won four. I think some people are gonna start to cheat if they have to beat that number. Yeah. So how do you how do you cheat if you don't go out all the way? Oh, was that is that what I was doing? No, you got it. You got it. Holy crap. But just anyways, disqualify him. Well, yeah. 
since you are now officially number one on the leaderboard, <laughs> we have a full set of dopaminio bands yes, for you. Yes. You got the full size band, <laughs> then you got that little blue bolt band, and then uh, the yellow stretch band that's on your mic. Nice. Nice. Thank you, dopaminio. Of course. Appreciate Let's that. Go. Thank you guys. Yeah, absolutely. This was fun. Do you have any closing remarks? Whoa, any... whoa, whoa. Hey, now I could, now I could use it. I want to hear close yeah, fun, fact. fun fact. Goodness gracious. Right. I don't even yeah. know how we're Do doing anything. this anymore. Come on. You guys aren't even on the yeah, same dude, page. We are all over the all place over today. today. Okay. We do this beef. on our show. Fun facts. We kind of suck at this part because no, we never... No, I got a good one. I got a good all one. All right. So fun facts. Right. It's fun fact. doesn't have to be about you. It can be about anything in the world. Okay. And yeah, so what's yours? My fun fact is that my pull-up record at the YMCA was 40. Boom. Holy crap. And I think that's pretty good. So, and that's I have a challenge answer. for you. You yeah. versus me, pull-ups, whoever can get the most. All right. <laughs> My fun fact is that Caden has the pull-up record for our team, but everybody on the team says that he only does half pull-ups. Oh. Uh, right. <laughs> hey, everybody gonna, on the team. On that's in. tough. That's Everybody. like the perfect second. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't have a single like supporter of his pull-ups. No, on I team. don't. I don't. <laughs> Everybody's against him. But yeah. Keep talking crap. That's all, all I'm right, saying. Fun fact. Um. Uh, a lot going through my head. <laughs> um, I just got a lot of wisdom. That's for sure. <laughs> no, <laughs> Stanford, bro. Thanks, bro. Thanks. What was um, your ACT score? No, fun fact. Uh, my little brothers. Are named. I have I have a unique name, but my little brothers are also have a unique name. Unique names. Uh, true and blessed. Whoa. Yeah, so. Real true fact. and blessed. Yeah. That's cool. Look out for them because they are some bad dudes. How old are they? Uh, they're. Now they're, thirteen. They're both thirteen or thirteen and Wait, twelve or thirteen and fourteen. You know how it is. <laughs> okay. You know how it is. It's kind of <laughs> tough to follow, That's but still definitely like eighth grade. thirteen, fourteen, or thir- twelve to fourteen. Between um, seventh grade and freshman year. Yeah, yeah, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yeah, seventh grade and sixth grade, I think. And then uh, they will beat and, you. And, and yeah, and they probably weigh as much as you. Shut oh, up! Oh, no, no. Shut up! They they weigh one fifty, one fifty five. Wow. Yeah. You guys just trained together. Thirteen. Yeah. Just, right. Dude, that's crazy. I know. That's sick. Big old dudes. Uh, one of them's won, t- one. He's won the Trinity. He's won Tulsa like four times now. He's a badass. You, you should uh, get him up if, if he can win the Wildcat Youth Wrestling Tournament. You've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your... That's uh, our youth, our, our schools, or our clubs. Yeah, youth it's pretty school. sick. It's trash. Let's go. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It was great. It was great. It, used, it, it, was, it was good. It was great. You always got a big trophy. That's true. It was always the best trophy of the year. Nice. Dude, big, big-ass Wildcat everyone, trophy. Everyone loves it. I'm going to go in there cat. as a special guest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's you, kids, yeah. though. Never mind. Yeah. Well, what do you think? How do I run the show? What's next? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, he takes it personal. <laughs> um, closing remarks. Closing remarks. Any final words of wisdom for you? Uh, none off the top of my head. I mean, that's not all. really. Follow your dreams, kids. Yeah, yeah, we got, right. we got one more thing. I mean, one, one more. Nothing corny you. like that. Oh, I always forget about this. This is the um, Clash Combat plaque. Okay. Every guest gets it. This is number 23 because you're our 23rd guest. Let's go, Jordan, baby. Heck yeah. I like this one. Yeah. And our uh, old producer, Shu, didn't made that. Yeah. Shout out, Superman Shop. We're running out. Those that we got uh, 23, 24, 25, and then we're on to a new style. So you're yeah, part so of the last leading group. One. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. Well, thanks, thanks, thanks so much for doing this. This was really fun. Yeah, yeah for sure, you. bro. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is awesome. Boom.